Hi, Bruce Dickinson here from Iron Maiden, and you're watching one hour of MTV's Heavy Metal Mania, and we're going to be presenting it from here, the Blade Fencing Centre in New York City, where I go to fence, which is a kind of lunatic sport, but we'll find out about that later. We're going to have videos from Marillion, we've got Wasp coming in, we've got Raven in the studios, but enough of all this, we're going to get stuck straight in. The Priest, Hellion, Electric Eye. Let's go. That was Judas Priest on Heavy Metal Mania and we're here at Blade Fencing Centre in New York City to do some fencing. And you're going to see me fencing later on with this, the electric foil, where we score hits with the point only and all the hits are registered electrically. Also, you're going to see people fencing with one of these, which is called an epee. This is um, a replica of a dueling sword and again, we score hits electronically with a point. And finally, you may even see somebody mad enough to try this. This is the sabre, and believe me, this one hurts because you can whack people's limbs off with this one. Anyway, back to the music. Motley Crue and Marillion, after this. <laughs>
was Grand Prix and their video called Shout. Unfortunately, that band is no longer with us, but seeing as they're great personal friends of ours, we thought that we'd play it anyway. Incidentally, the singer of that band has just re-released a version of Stairway to Heaven in England as a single, and it's been a massive hit, so who knows, it could even maybe happen over here. Right, on to metal news. Underground metal video is getting really, really popular these days, and it'll probably be helped by the release of this new tape, the Combat Tour Live, The Ultimate Revenge, featuring the music of Exodus, Slayer and Venom. Well... As if all that wasn't enough, there's a new book out this month, Heavy Metal Thunder by Phil Bash. It's got all your favourite heavy metal acts in it. It's got Motley, it's got ACDC, Ozzy. It's even got Iron Maiden. And I've read the interview with me that's in here. And believe it or not, it is actually what I said. Amazing. Steve Vai, the guitarist from Alcatraz, is now playing in a new band. He's playing the devil's personal blues guitarist. And he's actually in a movie called Crossroads. He's starring with Ralph Macchio, better known as the Karate Kid. And in the film, Vi, seen on the right, takes on Macchio in a spectacular guitar battle. And if Macchio loses, he's committed to serve the dark side forever. The film is scheduled for a spring 86 release. Now let's take a look around the country at some big heavy metal happenings. Autograph are touring with a new LP called That's The Stuff. And Ronnie Dio heads your way with one of the biggest metal stage shows ever. That's Heavy Metal News. I'm Bruce Dickinson, and you're watching MTV's Heavy Metal Mania. And in a minute, we're going to have some friends coming in. But now, on with the show. <laughs>
Hi there. We're back again. That was Marillion on that video. And the singer, believe it or not, is a good friend of mine called Fish. You should check that band out if ever they're in town because they're very, very good. Coming up next, we have Raven on an interview. And the reason why I'm doing this strange thing is because they beat up pro wrestlers. And believe me, I want to be in shape for this interview. All right? Ah! And if we've got a crane. Welcome back to MTV's Heavy Metal Mania. And here in the studio in Blade Fencing Centre in New York City, we've got two guys from Raven as my special guests here. Mark and John Gallagher. Hi. Welcome um, to New York. Hi. How are you? Fit and well and raring to go. Raring to go. Raring yeah. to go with this new album you've finished mixing. This is true. Just finished it last night. It's called The Pack Is Back. It should be out in January. Uh-huh. And you've got a, a single coming out from that, yeah? Yeah, it's a cover of the old, old ancient song called Gimme Some Lovin'. Yeah, I remember it. I revved remember up it. in 80s, sort of a bit. So why did you want to record Give Me Some Loving as a single? Well, we, we thought of doing it about a year ago, wasn't it? Yeah, we thought that would give the song, you know, like, the song's a great song, and a lot of people, like, know the song, when, you know, like, in the 80s, so we thought we'd revamp it up. And plus, it, it fits our style, like, you know, we're sort of like a modern version of rock and roll, you know, so we thought, you know, we'd do that and bring yeah. it home to everybody. It fits your style. You, yeah, you... we just give it a kick up the hint end, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do a lot of uh, kicking things around, or your drummer in particular, doesn't he? Wacko, he's not here, is he? Is he injured? No, he's sort of locked up at the Bronx Zoo, if you want to pop around and have a look at him, you know? Because, yeah, because he, he does a lot of very physical stuff, doesn't he, on stage? Well, that's basically the nature of the band. We're a very physical band. We think we're probably the most physical band. That, he wears all, you can see this rubbish on here, can't you? All the clothes, the hockey helmet and the gear. It's to protect himself from hitting cymbals and throwing drums around. We're the ones that should have the protection on when you think about it. On the, last, on the last tour, we, we had a, one show, we had like a, a wrestling bout for a support act, just to show that we're the most physical band and that we can, we can go up against wrestlers and anything, you know. And, well, did, like, the, you know. and did the hockey mask help him out against the wrestlers? Oh, no, yeah, they, you know, yeah, we won hands yeah. down, as usual. Mm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. How can a wrestler compete with a guitar? Yeah, that was, that was in Chicago, wasn't it, I understand? Yeah. Yeah, and you blew away the professional wrestlers, so yeah. the papers said. Yeah, All the guys true. are seven foot tall, but, you know, took them on anyway. How did the kids react? How did the audience? Great, you know, I loved it because it's like, you know, it's good fun, it's real physical, and, you know, they're really into it. It wasn't, it wasn't really sort of like violent or evil or anything. Was it? A lot of heavy metal gets a bad rep for stuff like that, so we thought it was like, you know, good fun. I agree entirely. And let's have a look at something from your last album. It's a video from Raven. It's called On and On. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you.
you're far too busy or you're feeling blue. I ain't gonna take it now.
Now fencing Weber, Dickinson. Fence is ready? Ready, sir. Fence. Touches right, scores two for Weber. Scores Dickinson six, Weber four. Are you ready? Ready, sir. Thank you. Fence. Scores Weber nine, Dickinson nine. You're fencing for one touch. LaBelle. Fence is ready? Ready, sir. Fence. Yeah, I'm not you know, he's so mean. You'd, you'd think he'd give me the money to get home and stuff. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty bad show when you think about it, really. Bruce, we're yeah. rolling. Oh, here we go again. Excuse me, can I interest you? I need, I need to sell, honestly, I need to sell this album to get back to England. It's really, it's only a hundred dollars. It's an eight-page book, camera records, everything. Fantastic, honestly, you're not interested? Oh, I'm my numbs up! <laughs> oh, this is really, really, really it important. Looks well. Oh, no. Who can I sell it to? I'll tell you what I'll do. I won't sell you it for $100, I'll give you it for $99.99. How about that? If Napoleon had had one of these, he would have beaten the English at the Battle of Waterloo. I'm not kidding you. It's got, uh, it's got all kinds of stuff and it's got... Oh, there goes another one. Ah! I got 11 cents. Try and get back to England. So I can find a taxi. You can never find a taxi in New York. 11 cents. There's a limo. A limo! Oi! This is great. A stroke of luck. Excuse me! Yeah, what's up? Ah, uh, uh, could you tell me how much the fare would be to go to London? What, London, New York? No, no, no uh, London, England. What? Yeah, London, England. Well, I've got 11 cents here. Is that any good? Hey, you want to go where? London, England. Okay, get, the, get let's go. Ah, oh, right. right. See you, guys. <laughs> You know, this really is the land of opportunity. 